What's going on guys? Uh, I wanted to do another video. Uh, it's been about a month since I uploaded my last one and I thought we'd start doing videos on the, uh, the Rambler and the Trans Am since I've done a couple Jeep videos and that's probably not what some of you guys are looking for out of this channel. Um, so today I wanted to talk about uh, distributor options for these cars uh, and the, the Rambler um, and the 327 which is a Gen 1 AMC V8. Let's see if I can get the hood popped here. So the, the Gen 1's, I'm gonna go get a light, but the uh, the Gen 1's are uh, a little limited in terms of their aftermarket support. Um, but those that have them do like to uh, modify them a little bit. So I'm trying to look into different ways, just to kind of spruce them up a bit. Um, there's a couple different options out there, but a lot of things are custom, as you guys have seen in my other videos. I did some like head porting and some intake and exhaust manifold porting. Um, I have an HEI or electric ignition conversion that I did, um, but again, that's pretty limited. What else can you do on them? I have a custom grind can, as some of you guys know, but uh, a lot of the stuff, some of the bigger stuff to get more power out of them, you have to do a little bit more. So, uh, one of the things I wanted to look into is a fully electric uh, distributor so I could adjust timing on the fly now that I'm doing EFI through Holly. Uh, so, if we could take a look back here, and hopefully the lighting is good enough. Go to the other side. See have a basic distributor back there. It is a Delco distributor in these, um, but we don't have a whole lot of space. Um, so I did go on eBay. I grabbed a, since it is a Delco distributor, it should be very similar to small box Chevys um, in terms of internals. I grabbed a. Uh, the Delco distributor online, I got a large gap obviously, which is a problem with space, but I thought I would take it and compare it to what they have in their stock and maybe kind of see what we'd have to do to try and get one of these to fit or get the, the internals of this to fit in one of these, which is what the uh, stock distributor looks like taken out. So let's take a look at these side by side and see what we have. So let's take a look at these guys side by side. It's going to be pretty obvious that uh, the Chevy one is quite a bit bigger. Uh, we do have a similar height uh, with the distributors, but if we do look at where the mounting points are, uh, this one is quite a bit lower where it sits on the, the block. Uh, if we were to take this off, the gear is completely different. That's a pretty easy swap. Um, there's just a, a lot of body differences here. So the, the next thing that I'd like to look at, since I don't think we're going to make this body work for a uh, AMC is uh, I'd like to pop this cap off and since this is a large cap model I might have to get a small cap model and make another video similar to this um, but this might help some people that thought they could maybe work a, make a, a large body fit on their their uh, AMC Delco distributor um, so I might have to get a different one but let's compare the internals uh, see how they compare see how they differ and uh, maybe try and get an, get an idea there so just circling back, that last clip might be a little uh, a little dark, but I'll try to brighten it up in post-processing so you can see the difference. Uh, I popped the cap off of both of these, and we can take a look at how they differ and how they are the same, if they are the same at all. This is the first I've ever popped off a electric ignition distributor cap before, so it's a little bit of new stuff for me, but we can kind of check it out together. All right, so I popped the caps off on both of these. Uh, first comparison, obviously, since the base was so much different. Uh, the, the factory cap is much smaller. I mean, it fits inside there. Uh, in terms of inside the caps, they look about the same. They have the contact points um, that your rotor will go around and touch and create spark. If we look at the outside of the caps, as we can see before, they're very different. This one is way larger. So in terms of fitting internals from this one into this one, it's just not going to happen. Uh, if we look at the internals, you know, on our standard distributor, you have a little uh, little cam there that opens up your your points. Um, this is similar. I don't know if you can see down in there. There's a cam, similar cam thing type thing. Um, so that might be that might be something that causes a little difficulty if we were to get a small cap or you know just a smaller distributor that's still electric. So we'll have to consider that. Um, this rotor looks like it might actually almost fit under this cap until you look at the back side. It's just a little larger. So something with a smaller cap might actually work in that regard. 
Uh, other, than, other than that, it looks like a lot of these things might kind of, you know, they might be able to be interchangeable. Obviously, the this cap being larger cap is different. I think it has ignition modules in here. I'm not sure how that differs between a smaller cap, so maybe we can compare that in a later video. So I would say off the bat, making making uh, one of these small block Chevy distributors work for an AMC. Uh, in terms of the body, as we can see a little closer up, definitely not going to happen here. Uh, I Somebody had mentioned some sort of oiling passage here too. I, I'm not totally familiar with that. If somebody sees this and is familiar, let me know. Because um, it would just be good to know. But this mounts, this is how far this allows us to go into the block. This obviously goes a little bit further in a small block Chevy. So you have that compared to that. This is different. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, the comparison. Um, so off the bat, I would say that a large cap small block Chevy distributor is not going to fit your AMC 327, 287, Gen 1, V8. Uh, which is expected. Uh, they, they were a modified form of the Delco distributor. I just wanted to see how close they were to see if we can make them work. So I think in a, a later video, I'll probably get a smaller cap distributor and see how they're similar. I think we might be able to swap some of those internals or at least get an idea of how close they are and see if that's even an option. Um, also, I know uh, I have the Protronics Igniter 1 in here, which is just straight electric ignition conversion. There's a two that I think has adjustable dwell, and there's a three that has adjustable dwell, and you can set the rev limiter. So I'm gonna take a look, and I think what I'm gonna get is a three, and we'll set a rev limiter in here. And you can kind of do like a, a launch control deal like that. Maybe we'll try that out. I don't know, it seems a little overboard, but it would be nice to set a red line in this thing so we don't have to worry about back and push rods and such. So. That'll be something that we have coming up. We'll do a video on that on the channel. Uh, show you guys how that is installed and everything, and I'll give you my review on it. So far, the Igniter one works good. I probably have 5,000 miles on it, so uh, take that for what it is, I guess. So that's it for today, guys. I uh, just wanted to do a, a comparison of these two distributors. Um, so far, not good news. It's looking like the Igniter 3 from Petronics is the best bet, but... Uh, We'll, uh, we'll try the smaller cap and see see what we can find. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything to add, please comment below and you know let us know how you feel. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.